Hi guys, it's Tony, and today we are going to do a follow-up video for my first ever YouTube video where I showed you how to do this counting timer in Figma, and today I'm actually going to show you how to do this circular progress bar as well. So let's get started. And as you can see, I have set up my Figma file in here. Here is the counting timer animation. If you want to learn how to do that, I will link the video to the description below. And also I try to like show it here somewhere in this video screen as well. So you can take a look on that. But today we are going to focus on the circle animation. So what we want to do with this animation is that we, we have this animation in place and we want this basically to start from the top and go around the time. And when it's ready in 10 seconds, it basically changes the color and that's it. So how we are going to tackle this, we basically have a one frame where inside the frame we have a rectangle that is same color as a background for your app. And below that we will have like this uh, half circle, which then will evolve into a full circle. So you have the basic information already in here, but we can start by creating a new frame. Let's use the size of like 350 here. You can remove the fill completely here. And let's actually start by hitting O, which draws you an ellipse and you can size the ellipse as, as big as you want. And you can see this circular dot in here. So track from there, sweep it to minus 50%. And then let's change the ratio in here to let's say perhaps 95 works here in this case. And then we can actually go to start and turn it like this. So it's 90% now. And as you can see, it's called ellipse five since I have like multiple ellipses in here. Let's duplicate that or copy paste it. And let's call this like bottom circle and this one top circle. So this helps us to move this around in here. But for now, let's select them both. Let's change the color of them like this and let's group them and you can group them by pressing command and G. <coughs> and now we want to draw the rectangle on top of that like this. So you can see that it goes below that and try to like position it like this. And then we want to duplicate the frame. So again, command plus D. And now you want to go into this group, which consists of those different circles. And as you can see, we want to rotate the group for like minus 79.9 degrees. Since like we don't want to go full 180 because I will show you what happens if you do that. You can see that it actually goes from the minus values to plus values, which makes it to turn the wrong way that we want it to turn. So let's just like put 129.9, oops, like this. And then we want to duplicate the frame again. And this time we want to just remove the rectangle and then ungroup the group. So now there's no group for these. So these are individual layers in here. And also now we want to turn this into 100, 180 degrees. So here we go. And then duplicate it again, select top circle and just rotate that for zero degrees. And then we want to select the first frame, go to prototype, drag from the noodle here, connect it to the first one, set it to be after delay it can be like zero milliseconds. Then use the linear value since our timer is 10 seconds. We want to have it to be five seconds. So 5,000 milliseconds and that's it. Let's you can press from shift and space to have a preview and you can see that it's working nicely. So let's follow up with the other ones. So now, because this is basically removing the rectangle and changing this to be 180 degrees, Let's again connect these ones, but this time go to after delay, change this to be one milliseconds, and here 
change smart and animate to be instant. This way, this will disappear from here. And <coughs> then let's connect the third frame to fourth one. Let's select after delay again. Again, one millisecond. And this time, let's go to smart animate. 5000 milliseconds linear seems about right. And let's play it. And let's hope for the best that it works. And here we go. Works smoothly. And then only thing that we want to have, we want to, this circle to change color when it's ready. So you can just go in here, select both of these layers, change color to be green one, go into this frame, drag from the noodle, after delay again, zero. This time it can be a bit faster one, 300 milliseconds. And you can use like, I don't know, whatever you want. Perhaps even bounce, it could be a fun one in here. Let's see how that looked like. No, actually no. Let's use ease out 300 milliseconds. And let's see what it looks like. Here we go. So now if we want to use this in our prototype, let's select all of the frames and go to this components menu at the top and press from create a component set. And we can call this, for example, progress. And if you want to find this, just navigate to the assets menu and you can find it from there. Drag it to the prototype screen where you want to see it, show it this. And now if we go to our prototype, Press from start timer. Now we have a working timer set in place, which takes 10 seconds to complete. And at the end, it turns to green. But that was it. I hope that you liked the video and you can find the link to original video of part one, where I show the how to do the countdown timer to the description below. And if you like the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and let's see you again in the next video.